Hello and welcome. I'm Andreas Fertig. I work as a trainer and consultant primarily for C++. And I'm also the creator of C++ Insights. And this is also the tool I like to talk about in this series. So these little differences are not just in the compiler or in the standards. They are also in the standard libraries. So by default, because the web version of C++ Insights runs on a Linux host, the library that is used for the standard library is libstud.c++. And here I have an example where I'm declaring a vector v and initialize it with three elements. The standard doesn't matter this time. I'm selected 2a to have the latest. And if you look at the right, then we can see the result. So you may know that uh, we can provide our own allocator to the standard library containers. So we can see here that our std vector comes with this allocator of type int. It's a std allocator where we don't have to do anything for it. But what we can also see is that the constructor which we are invoking here which of course takes a std initializer list because of the braced initialization and the three values it also takes an additional argument which is an object of std allocator this is with lib std c++ and you have the choice to switch to libc++ which is shipped with clang and if I select this here and transform it again then we can see the little difference. libc++ shows a different way of implementing std vectors still in the spec but they are not passing an additional argument here. For me it's not a matter of performance or anything here it's just noticing that different implementations are possible and C++ Insights sometimes shows them and, and sometimes I get questions back during classes um, and I sometimes even do not notice myself these little differences, but students spot them and um, ask me questions about them. So that's why I'm saying here, it's possible to see it. I wouldn't interpret much into it. It's just a difference but you can see it. That's it for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye bye.